Christmas Special Part 18, A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction. If you have not heard the previous 17 parts of this story, you can find a link to them in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up to show your support, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest parts of your favorite fan fiction. You're heading out? Yeah. Will you be okay? Yeah. Stay with the kids. Don't let them know what's going on. Be safe. I will. Adrian stepped forward to kiss his wife, lingering a moment before succumbing to the morning. His father was moving out of Clairvaux prison today. Apparently, he'd gone mad and had to transfer to a mental hospital. Adrian doubted it, but he wasn't about to show up as Cat Noir and tell them why it was a bad idea. No. Instead, he was asked to go to the ward to get a reaction out of him as his son. He told himself it was a bad idea from the start, but he couldn't let it go. As horrible as his father was, he couldn't abandon him. There wasn't a cloud overhead to match his mood. Oof. He could do this. He called a car to take him there, knowing he wouldn't be stable enough to drive on the ride back. Adrian could see the armed vans outside the building as they approached, flashing him back to the trial years ago. He might puke. One step in front of the other, Adrian. You can do this. Three hours later, he walked in through the doors of his home, startling Marinette as he walked past her into the twins' bedroom. He picked Tiki up, mid-nap, and carried her over to Plague's bed to grab him as well. Without a word, he made his way to his bedroom, lying down with his children. Papa? Plague asked, rubbing his eyes. Papa. That's right. They didn't call him father. They had a different childhood than his. We're sleeping in the big kid bed today, okay? He whispered. Tiki was still sound asleep, and his son was too groggy to comprehend what was going on. He snuggled closer to them, feeling Marinette slip in behind him as the big spoon. And, like that, he fell asleep. Today wasn't the best of days, but as far as he was concerned, it was a good day. Yeah, today had a good ending, regardless of what happened. Thank you so much for listening. Part 19 is on its way. In the meantime, you can check out these other videos for more fanfiction. I'll catch you next time.